grade 8 math number 12.1c, the Pythagorean Theorem in three dimensions. We can use the Pythagorean Theorem to solve problems in three dimensions. Did you know that a box can hold a figure that's longer than the length of the box? You just lay the object along the diagonal of the box. You find the di diagonal along the bottom. It's the hypotenuse of the triangle created by the diagonal. See, now there's two triangles in the bottom. It was one rectangle, but by laying that diagonal, there's two triangles. And that diagonal is the hypotenuse. Okay? Let me show you something real quick. Take a look at this box on my floor. Now, I measured it right here, and this is 10 inches. Okay? And I have this triangle that I use to draw my drawings on my, on my dry erase board. Now, the long side here is 13 inches. See this along here? This is the hypotenuse of the triangle, isn't it? See that? And then here's a leg right here, and here's a leg. Well, this leg is 11 and 3 quarters inches, and the hypotenuse right here is 13. And I measured the side of my box here, and I found out that it was 10 inches. Now, keep in mind, this bottom right here that it's sitting on is 11 and 3 quarters. So, in a 10 inch long box, watch what happens. It fits in perfectly and snugly. Look at that. So in a 10 inch long box, I got an 11 and 3 quarter inch triangle that I laid in there. And then look at the hypotenuse right here. This 13 inches. What if I had a long stick that I wanted to mail somebody? I could probably mail a 13 inch stick in a box like this, couldn't I? Even though the diagonal is only 11 and 3 quarters inches and this side is only 10 inches, if I made it so that the stick started up in this corner and laid on an angle down into this bottom corner down in here, I could have a diagonal of a diagonal, right? So that's what I want to show you. If you have a box and we start in this upper corner and then come down on an angle, we can lay something that's even longer than the length of the box, okay? So the bottom of the box is like this. It's a rectangle, and it makes two triangles when we put this diagonal here, and that's the hypotenuse of both triangles. We've got a leg here and a leg here. We have a leg here and a leg here. And that's a right angle, that's a right angle. See, now we have two right triangles. And we lay a stick along the bottom of the box. It's laying on the diagonal of the bottom. See that? But if we lay a longer stick, going from this back corner and an angle to this front corner to the opposite bottom corner, the stick could be even longer, like my triangle wedge. And that's what we're going to do. We've got a box that's 12 inches high, it's 20 inches long, and 6 inches wide, right here. And we've got a diagonal down here that's S, and it's cutting the bottom of the box into two triangles. But then, just like my triangle that was in the cardboard box, it's got line R that's going from this back upper corner to the front lower corner, all right? We need to find the measure of R, the length from the top corner to the opposite bottom corner. The first thing we have to do is find S to find that R. So here's our triangle for S. It's laying along the bottom. It's the width and this, the 6 inch width and the 20 inch, inch leg and we're going to find the hypotenuse for this one triangle that's on the bottom of the box, okay? So it's going to be like this. It's 6 inches wide, 20 inches long, and then there's our S, the hypotenuse. So, remembering the Pythagorean theorem and a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we can find that hypotenuse, can't we? It would be 6 squared plus 20 squared is going to equal s squared, isn't it? So, 6 squared is 6 times 6, that's 36, and 20 squared is 20 times 20, that's 400. We know 36 plus 400 is going to equal s squared. So 436, 436 is s squared. See how we did that? We just did 6 times 6 and 20 times 20 and found that s squared, the hypotenuse, is going to be 436 inches, okay? So, now, this is squared, all right? 
Now we're going to use this expression, this 436 equals s squared, to help us find r, all right? So we had this, now we're going to try to find r, all right? We know this height is 12 inches, and it's sitting in the box here, just like my triangle uh, was sitting in that cardboard box. So again, using the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to use s as a leg. This 436 is now going to be a leg with the 12 inches, see? And then we're going to find r as the hypotenuse. Isn't that cool? So s becomes a leg, and we've got 12, so that's going to be 12 squared plus the 436, because we already know if it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we already know that s squared is the 436, okay? So we don't need to write s squared into our equation because 436 is s squared. See that? So we got 12 squared plus the 436, which takes the place of s squared, is going to equal r squared. So 144, that's what 12 times 12 is, plus the 436 is going to equal r squared. Well, 144 plus 436 is 580. So we know these two together are 580, and that's going to be r squared. So now we need to take the square root of both sides. So what is the square root of 580? Well, I tried 24 times 24, and I got 576, and that wasn't big enough. That's not 580. And I thought, well, it's, I just need four more, right, to be at 580, just four little more ones. So I thought, well, what about 24.1? Because I didn't want to go too much bigger. If I went to 25, it would be a big number, like 600-something. So I tried 24.1, and I got 580.81. I could have tried 24.09, and I could have kept going and getting it closer and closer, but I figured 580.81 was close enough, so I'll just use the approximate symbol, the two wavy lines. So I can say that the square root of 580, using the approximate symbol, is 24.1, so that r is about 24.1 inches. All right? See that? Now, if you look at the square root of 436 back here, I figured it out and it came out to approximately 20.9. So if we laid something along here, we could lay a 20.9 inch stick diagonally across the bottom of the box. But if we laid the stick going from up here down to the front corner, we could have a 24.1 inch stick and the difference between them is 3.2 inches. So I could lay a 3.2 inch longer stick in that box by doing it this way on this diagonal than just laying it across the bottom. See that? R is about three inches longer than S. So remember, the diagonal is longer than any of the sides, okay? And I, I hope you understood how we did that. I know the math is uh, getting to higher and higher levels and it's starting to get more complicated. I have lots of videos on here and if you ever have a problem all you have to do is leave me a comment and I'll try to help you in any way I can. I might have a video already made or maybe I could help you out some way. All right? I can steer you in the right direction. I don't have all the answers but I have many and I hope I'm helping you and I hope you're doing okay. All right? Keep your chin up. We're gonna do a real tough one next. Okay? <laughs> It's got to do with circles and squares, so I hope I'll see you there. Bye.